Finally, after enduring over six decades of ceaseless instability, turmoil, sanctions, and devastating wars stemming from the Cold War rivalry between the West and the Soviet Union, Afghanistan is at last forging its path toward economic stability and robust infrastructure, aided by both domestic efforts and international assistance. For the majority of the past 55 years, Afghanistan languished in extreme poverty, devoid of basic necessities that many nations take for granted, such as paved roads, clean drinking water, farming irrigation systems, electricity, internet access, and thriving industries. At present, the Afghan government is zealously dedicated to mega-projects designed to enhance the lives of the entire population. Their primary focus is on initiatives that generate numerous short and long-term employment opportunities with improved wages. This strategic approach is essential as the country's central dilemma lies in the stark reality that despite the availability of resources, over 60% of households struggle to afford basic necessities due to widespread unemployment and inadequate income. Now, let's delve into an exploration of some of the most impactful mega-projects transforming Afghanistan's landscape. In 2008, it became alarmingly evident that Kabul, the Afghan capital, was deteriorating, despite being one of the relatively decent and developed cities in the country. With a population of 700,000 in the mid-1980s, Kabul faced a dramatic shift after the U.S. invasion in 2001. Over the subsequent two decades of chaos and unrest, more than three million internal refugees flooded into Kabul, rendering the city nearly uninhabitable due to overcrowding and immense strain on its infrastructure. Although the Kabul New City Project, initiated in 2008 with an estimated cost of $15 billion, never came to fruition, there's good news as of 2023. The Afghan government has finalized the blueprint for the new city and commenced land distribution to tens of thousands of families. Despite financial constraints, essential works involving water, electricity, sewage, and roads are in progress. Moreover, in August 2023, the government inked a deal with the Kawar Construction Company to construct housing and necessary infrastructure for 3 million people. Spanning 40,000 hectares in the northern part of Kabul, the Kabul new city is taking shape in the Desabs district, encompassing areas from Shakardara, Karababag, Estalif, and Kalakan districts. This monumental endeavor is poised to generate immense employment opportunities, potentially creating about 1.2 million jobs across both public and private sectors. The proposed design, possibly to be implemented, was crafted by the renowned French firm Architecture Studio. Embracing sustainable development, the project focuses on preserving natural resources, ensuring access to drinking water and energy, and facilitating education and employment. As inhabitants transition to this advanced, sustainable city, a rehabilitation project for downtown Kabul is also set to commence. Notably, the Afghan government has welcomed foreign private investments in this venture through the independent board of Kabul New City Development, an entity free from government control and unaffected by sanctions. Our next venture revolves around Afghanistan's strategic location at the crossroads of China, Iran, Pakistan, and Central Asian states. The Kaf Herat Railway Initiative is a pivotal component of the proposed $2 billion Five Nations Railway Corridor, spanning Iran, Afghanistan, Tajikistan, Kyrgyzstan, and China. Stretching over a total length of 2,000 kilometers, this railway network commences from Herat and extends to the Afghan-Tajik border. After traversing Tajikistan, it continues through Kyrgyzstan, ultimately reaching China's industrial hub in Xinjiang via the China-Kyrgyzstan-Uzbekistan Railway. This extensive rail network is set to establish vital connections with India as well. In a significant milestone in May 2023, Afghanistan and Iran marked a key achievement by conducting the first trial run of the Kaf Herat Railway. This trial involved transporting 655 tons of railway equipment using 17 wagons, essential for the further construction of the rail line. Covering a distance of 225 kilometers, the Kaf Herat Railway spans 140 kilometers within Afghanistan and 85 kilometers in Iran. Once fully operational and seamlessly integrated with other sections constructed by neighboring nations, Afghanistan stands to gain significantly. It will emerge as a pivotal transportation hub for goods and commodities, facilitating rapid and secure exports of its own products, products that are currently transported exclusively by haul trucks. Our next project, which we'll delve into shortly, is a groundbreaking inclusion initiative, 
poised to transform Afghanistan into a regional business and transportation hub within the next two decades. On May 6, 2023, a wave of optimism washed over Afghanistan as Pakistan and China jointly announced substantial investments. These investments were geared towards bolstering Afghanistan's participation in China's expansive economic belt, a colossal network of railways and highways stretching from China to North Germany, Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. This comprehensive initiative also encompassed maritime gateways extending to Australia and South America. The primary objective? To create a seamless global network of highways, railways, airports and ports, eliminating bottlenecks, connecting missing links, and expediting the transportation of goods while slashing shipping times and costs. A significant segment of this expansive network is the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, CPEC, a vital artery of connectivity. Now, this corridor officially extends to Afghanistan, bridging borders and fostering economic collaboration. Afghanistan shares a 92-kilometer-long border with China, snaking through the narrow Wakhan Corridor from Badakhshan to Xinjiang. For financially strained Afghanistan, this development translates into a windfall. Hundreds of millions of dollars in direct and indirect aid from China and its belt partners, coupled with direct access to the vast Asian, European, African, and South American markets. What makes this inclusion plan truly transformative is its potential to make Afghanistan an attractive hub for industrial activities, manufacturing, and mining. The nation possesses significant mineral deposits, elevating its appeal to investors and entrepreneurs. This promising inclusion initiative sets the stage for our next project, a venture poised to enable Afghanistan to load hundreds of train wagons daily with wheat, legumes, and produce destined for regional markets, including the colossal consumer bases of China and India, representing a combined population of over 3 billion people. The Koshtepa Canal stands as a beacon of hope for Afghanistan's future. Spanning an impressive 285 kilometers in length, 152 meters in width, and 8.5 meters in depth, this artificial river in northern Afghanistan originates from the Amu Darya River in the Balkh province and traverses Jaujan and Faryab provinces. Approximately half of the canal has been completed, and construction is progressing rapidly due to the pressing water and food shortages crisis in the north among other areas. This vital waterway is set to supply millions of Afghans with water, allowing thousands of farmers to return to agriculture. The transformation is profound as 55,000 hectares of land are converted into farmland, with a significant emphasis on grains and wheat. Successful completion of this colossal canal and its related irrigation and farming objectives could enable the nation to export goods, generating much-needed income to fund other mega-projects including the ambitious Kabul New City Initiative. Afghanistan is also at the heart of numerous ongoing and planned megaprojects. It plays a pivotal role in regional initiatives such as the CASA 1000 Central Asia Electricity Project. Additionally, the nation is striving to construct multiple hydropower dams to combat droughts in its driest regions and avert future famines. Long renowned for its vast mineral wealth, Afghanistan is estimated to possess 60 million tons of copper, 2.2 billion tons of iron ore, and 1.4 million tons of rare earth elements like lanthanum, cerium, and neodymium, along with significant reserves of aluminum, gold, silver, zinc, mercury, and lithium. In August 2023, Afghanistan signed mining contracts worth over $6.5 billion with both local and foreign companies from China, Iran, Turkey, and Britain, heralding a new era of economic prosperity. Moreover, Afghanistan is a key player and partner in the Turkmenistan-Afghanistan-Pakistan-India Gas Pipeline project. This strategic initiative is poised to provide affordable gas for newly constructed gas-fired power stations, alleviating the plight of millions of Afghans still lacking access to electricity. What are your thoughts on Afghanistan's journey towards a brighter future? marked by economic stability and advancements in human rights through these transformative megaprojects. Feel free to share your insights in the comments section, and don't forget to show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing, and ringing that notification bell. Your engagement means a lot. Thank you.